optimism and hope, and this is the, the theme of this, this, uh, this conference, is absolutely priceless. We want to try to achieve two main things. One is to, to give that patient some sort of treatment that will knock the cancer back. And number two, by keeping it under control, prolong that patient's survival. While we're trying to control the disease and prolong their survival, there's one other issue that is of critical importance, and that is quality of life. And so having the right mental attitude and being optimistic about this is, is really very important. It's a very important piece of the equation. And, and one of the ways to, to do that is to keep your perspective positive about looking at these treatments, not as an end in and of themselves, but really a way to keep the quality of life as good as possible. To Quality of life is a very high premium. We, we can give people breaks periodically from their treatment, maybe short breaks, you know, weeks or something like that. We can modify the treatment regimen. We do that in colon cancer. There's a, there's a strategy that is used to, to modify the regimen to allow people to go for a longer time. And we have this toolbox we have in, in our drawer. And when we start, we bring out our first two and we use them as long as we can. When that runs out, we bring out the next one and we keep going through that until the draw is in. And after that, there's nothing else we have. And then there are other options that sometimes do become available, such as clinical trials and newer approaches. But what we really are in need of is to help people survive longer and get a good quality of life. And hopefully, and hopefully to, to have as a bridge to the next available treatment is more to us than to do Is that the treatment of cancer really is best done in, in a team approach where you have the best experts from surgical, radiation, radiology, medical oncology, specialists coming together to formulate a plan and treat the patient with the 